Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I'm going to apologize in advance if you hear my dogs or anything like that because they're a little rowdy. So today I want to go over, I got these um, Arteza 24 gouache colors and what made, what made me fall in love with it, with them, I guess, is this because this is so me, so everything I love. Now, I got them. I paid for them. They're not, you know, sponsored or anything. I just was going to do a review. Get the big light out of there for now. And uh, as you can see, these are 24. They come sealed in this nice container. And I thought I would use them in a mixed media art journal page. My hands are not working. Ugh, okay. And let's see. So it's supposed to come in some sort of case, but I don't see how that is. It said online anyway that it had a case. Did I miss it? Maybe it meant this? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. I, I guess we'll just leave it like this. And you can see all the colors. Now, a lot of people have said, I've read reviews and when I've posted on a couple uh, social media sites, they say that the colors don't match like what they say they are. So I, I don't know about that. We're going to see. And then what I did here is I have my, I did a video the other day where I have this, it's like a vinyl uh, writing notebook. And I did the cover with some acrylic paint. And then I kind of, um, not whitewashed it, but blackwashed it, I guess. Uh, to make it more grungy because I love it and what I like to do is write in here and do art and all that kind of stuff So I just kind of made it myself um, And this is from a magazine that I had sitting around and I cut her arms off because I want to make wings So I thought let's just do all this because the video I did prior to this was using the Tim Holtz uh, plastic wings and those were cute and I did like a, a little one of his little paper doll things or whatever. So now we're going to use a magazine. So I thought first I would kind of swatch some of these. I don't think I'm going to swatch all of them. And let's see how it goes. And then I'll go back to that. I did throw gesso down on that just so uh, it gives it a little bit more sturdiness. Also, a lot of you have asked, look my hands because of the lighting. A lot of you have asked about um, doing this with composition and that and say that your paper is thin and flimsy which mine is as well. Something you could do is take, I'll show you very simply, a glue stick or Mod Podge or a white school glue with a little bit of water, whatever you have. And what I do is I go like this and I go like this and I go like, and I do it, you know, not so perfect because there is no perfect. And then I'll put this over it and then I will give it a good mush, or you could use your woolly poly, um, a big bottle, tip the lids on and do like that, you know, whatever floats your boot. Put this here before I knock everything over. I have everything so put so perfectly. All right. And then you can close it and put a heavy book over it or whatever. Really this dries so fast and so does Mod Podge and that stuff. And then what it does is it gives you a thicker paper to work with. So, you know, you want to do watercolor mixed media. It, you know, it's totally up to you. So we'll do this on here. I was like, what am I going to do? First, let's do lemon yellow. And they're already open, so you don't have to uh, open it. And again, this is gouache. So it's in between acrylic paint and watercolor paint. It's extremely opaque they say this brand and it is look at that that's pretty for a yellow that's a real pretty color and then let's rinse now i'm going to be using this more on my obsession with um abstract because i like to layer but you know let's do a uh, red this is vermilion red I'll just do a little ploop. I'm going to use my fingers. Oh, that's like that nice orangey red, which is one of my favorites. Yeah. 
I'm gonna see how these mix too. Okay. Nice, not bad, not bad. Let's do sap green. And when I say Roy G. Biv, which is usually, it, it's when you're going out to buy yourself new paint or a new brand or something that you want to try, it's, you know, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. It's supposed to be indigo violet, but I just say blue, purple, black, and white. And then you can mix all your colors from all of those base colors. So you don't have to spend a fortune. I'm just spreading this out. I want to see. Make like a yellow green. They mix nice together though. Oh, not mad at that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So red, green, blue. Let's do cerulean blue. They don't necessarily have a smell. And then let's do, they only have one purple. Yeah. Which is lilac. Okay. I mean, you could get a bigger kit. You know what I mean? They have ultramarine blue, yellow, mid yellow. Let's try and see some yellow ochre. That's a great one. A light apricot. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Scarlet reds, burnt sienna, crimson red, rose, Let's see what this one is. This is peach red. Okay. Let's see what that means. Oh, I don't know how that's peach red. That's more like fluorescent pink. And then this is white. And then black. Let's see. Noir. And they have burnt umber, gray. This is titanium white and then this is just white whatever that means so i'm sure one's probably like whitest white or maybe one's translucent i don't know so i'm gonna take this and do this that's ready that that's pretty that's the peach red okay my brush is wet it's not dry I'll do one with a dry brush to show you. I mean, that's pretty. That's there's that's nothing that I would be mad at. And as I use these more, I will tell you, let's use this. This is dry. Yeah, if you use a, a brush dry, you can see it's much more opaque, which I like because then I can play with do I want it, you know, more opaque, do I uh, opaque, do I want it more see-through, that kind of thing. So, okay. This is one of my favorite brushes in the world. Black. I like that. I'm going to take a little bit of this white here and make a little gray. Let's see how this mixes. Okay, that's good. Like I said, they mix real nice. And then obviously I have white here that I mixed a little bit, but you could see it's, it's pretty, it's white. Okay. All right. So I don't know. I didn't use all the colors. I'm not real sure. I'm not really somebody who necessarily goes by colors because I do mixed media. So I'm not always like use this certain blue or use this. I'm like, use what you got, you know? So, okay. That is where that is. So let's go back to here. What I wanted to do, I should have cleaned my mat a little bit. I want her here and I want some wings. So I'm just going to take some, and I cut her arms off. I'm going to do basic wings, I guess. And let's see. Oh, am I the only one that does that? I can see. I do them lopsided. I love these pens. I'll tell you what. I also love my daughter got one of the stores around us was going out of business. How far up do I want it here? 
and um i just want a general idea i'm good with that and they had these which I, you can get anywhere they're not just there but they were just getting rid they are paper mate clear points and they have all colors so this was this color uh lead and i literally used it all because i've been drawing with it and i love it so like you can see it's like a little darker and i just love it so and it comes in all kinds of colors if i can steal another one for my my daughter i will but yeah so these are great and they have an eraser and i just love using them let's do i do love that pink hmm. We'll do this white, since it just says white, and a little bit of the lemon yellow. Now, you know, lemon uh, yellow and pink will make a little bit of orange. I might use a little bit of that pink, too. I'm just going to start like that. And kind of follow my line. I mean, look how bright it is. Hmm. Now you can see I have this line on the outside and I'm not, I don't care about that. I'll go and outline it anyway. I just kind of want to see what we got going on here. I like them sketchy anyway. Take it up a little bit more right here. Let's just give us some big old wings. Have any of you guys started watching um, Good Omens on Amazon? We watched the first one uh, last night. And I was just wondering what you guys thought. Like if you guys have watched more than the one uh, episode. Like we did. It's different than I thought it was going to be. I don't know. I didn't read the book. Um, I believe my husband, I can't remember if he said he did or not, but let's do some of the white to lighten this in the middle. I wasn't that impressed by the first episode, <laughs> which I hate saying, but I'm hoping that it gets better. And then I'm going to do a little bit of this pink. Look at that. That is, what is it called again? Peach red. It's interesting. I wonder who named that. And I'm going in with my hands. I just want it to be in the middle. I mean, that is a delicious color. I'm going to take some of the white. I'm hoping that you guys can see as I put some white in this, the color better because it's going to lighten that. Again, I'm just playing, seeing what it does. And if you're like me, I mean, you can see where you have your, if you don't want to get your piece that you have in there, because mine will end up all yucky with paint. So I'm just going to kind of, but look at that. That's a pretty color that came out. And I can make it. I love that my husband down there is choking <laughs> so loud or coughing so loudly. I should have shut my door. Anyway. I want you guys, um, I want to let you guys know that for those of you who have been following us on our other channel, Our Adventures, we haven't been putting too, too much up on there. That's pretty. Um, but he put up a video. We went, if you remember, and I know some of you have already seen it, um, to a sculptural park. And it was gorgeous. And we only made it through like maybe half of it. Okay, this dries very fast, which is perfectly okay. So I'm just going to give it a squirt. Um, that's what she's on. But, um, so he only put, he can only do like half the video. The other half will be up next week, I think. And then we're going back for the rest of it. And I loved it. And he did such a great job with the video and my daughter's in it. Emily, for those of you, uh, y'all know, Emily, and her boyfriend's in it a little bit. Not, I mean, we're not like in it, but you can see us walking. And oh, look at that. The color, how it came out different when it mixed with the white. Huh. I don't like that one as much as I like that one. So we're going to add a little bit more pink. Um, or whatever color it was. What is it? Peach red. 
so yeah so go check it out if you're interested in that kind of thing it's to music it's he picked some really good music for it and if you watch it i'd appreciate if you would share it because he works you know he does such a good job and he works so hard um doing them and editing them you know you just and it's really cool if you like art which obviously do if you're here um you'll like it because it's just so many cool art things and sculptures and paintings and yeah it's just really good okay all right i'm gonna leave it like that i'll highlight it with white after i'm not hating on it not my favorite but i'm not hating on it so i'm gonna go in i'm gonna take my glue stick and I know that she's going to sit there. And I'm not going to take it down too far. So I can move her around. Yeah. And what I want to do as I'm trying. First I'm going to do a sky. So let's do sky blue. How appropriate. And I'm going to go around. And then I want to put dots. Like I want dots on here. I don't know why. I want to see, you know, how well it covers. So that's why I'm not too worried about them matching. Oh, that's periwinkle-ish to me. Not mad. I like it. I'm going to mix in though some ultramarine blue. Just a little bit. Hey, and if you want some, if you have these kind of containers, these kind of paint, and you want some texture on your paintings, you can just give it a little squeeze and a dot, and you get like that outside part. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so now we're going to take a smaller brush, and I'm just going to go in. And I'm going to need a little bit of water, because these, these do dry fast, and maybe that is a property of gouache that I don't know, because I'm not... I'm not a gouache person. I'm hoping to be after this because I do dig it. It's chalky, but I'm not mad at it for that. It goes on nice. You can see why it's between acrylic and, um, this is what I'm going to do under here, acrylic and watercolor, because you really can play with the transparency and the color, you know, that you want, if you want it a little darker, a little lighter, I'm just throwing this under here. But like I said, dries a little more, a little faster than I um, am used to. I'll just have to get with the program. But I think with me doing uh, mixed media, you know, putting it on the paintings and all, it won't, it won't matter. Now, from what I understand, some gouaches are permanent when they're dry. Others are, you, re you can reconstitute them. So I guess we'll see that too. But I like that I can make it opaque and then I can make it even translucent for when I'm doing under layers. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Hmm. These weren't that expensive. I got them on Amazon. Was it Amazon or their site? Or maybe it's their site on Amazon. I think there were 20 something, maybe 22, 21. And you're getting, you know, you're getting what, 24 uh, paints and they're nice size. I mean, they're the size you're going to get anywhere. And I researched them because I wanted gouache and there was another, I want to say Royal Langton or something like that, that, which were cheaper. But when I read the reviews, they weren't that great. So I was like, I'm just going to go for it. And I've used, Arteza has sent me stuff before to try out. And I've liked them. I haven't, you know, not liked them. I just haven't tried this. I, I use their acrylic paints still, the ones that they sent me. Um, and I like them. So I thought, I'm going to try this. Okay. 
Okay, so you can see I have this sticking up here, so I'm going to grab my glue stick again. But I just wanted to get underneath there, and I'm just going to unstick it. And you, of course, can go up and, you know, stick everywhere you want to stick. But I'm, I'm okay with that. Rinse this. Okay. Also, we started watching, because um, you guys are always asking about Netflix and what we watch, we started a show, I think it's called Killer Ratings, if I'm not mistaken. And it's about, I think it's Brazilian, oh gosh, or something, I want to say Spanish, Mexican, I can't remember, but it's about a guy who is a talk show host and every, like he's beloved. He wants to stop the gangs and, and all kinds of stuff. And it's real. It's a documentary. And, um, here they come to find out that supposedly, I don't know how it ends because we've only started watching it. He, um, was setting all this stuff up to happen so he could film it and then become like the quote unquote hero of it. So it's, it's quite a story so far. And that, yeah, Killer Ratings is what it's called. So if you're interested, we're documentary freaks. We love documentaries. Go check it out. All right, now I want to do it in here. So maybe I will do it just in here in line. So yeah, go check it out. That's what we're watching on there. And then my sister suggested, highly suggested, and she doesn't watch my videos, so I can say what I want to say. But she highly suggested us watch... Uh, oh, it's the Christina Applegate one, Dead Like Me or Dead to Me or something like that. Uh, and it's a show. And the, the documentary I was just talking about, Killer Ratings, it's like episodes. So, like, you don't have to sit for, like, a two-hour documentary. You can watch, like, the first part. I think it's, like, 40 minutes, and it goes from, like, that. Um, but Dead Like Me is, a like, a kind of like a sitcom-y kind of show. Um, I didn't, we're not liking it. And Dave, in the first literally five minutes, said, I'm going to tell you right now what happens. And he had no clue. And he was right so far. So I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm just getting older. I mean, it's cute. It's cute. But it's my sister was like obsessed. Like she had it all watched. And I'm just like on episode four still. And it's been like two weeks. And they renewed it. Which I know because my sister was so excited about that and texted me and said they renewed it. And every day, did you finish it? And then she'll go on to tell me how she loved it and why she loved it. Again, I just can't. Like even Emily's like, oh, you started watching it. And I'm like, you're not going to like it. But we'll see. We'll see how it ends. I told my sister, I'm like, I'm going to finish watching it and see, you know, maybe it will change my mind. But Dave and I are obsessed with the, uh, like, they're Swedish and Norway and all that kind of stuff. There, we read the subtitles of all the police shows on there, like The Break, and oh gosh, we just love them all. We're always looking like, when's season two coming? And Ozarks, if you haven't watched that, watch it. It's uh, with Jason Bateman's in it, and the new season's coming. Excited for that. And you guys keep asking about live streams and I'm trying. I, I don't want to, I know that you guys keep saying, just look, do a live stream and whoever's doing a live stream as well. That you know, it is, it's life, but I just feel weird if I'm like, Oh, let me, I'm going to go live today. And then I see three people have live streams and it's their gig. You know what I mean? Like they've been doing it and here I'm going to go on. Even though I'm sure everybody will be watching them. I just feel weird. What are your thoughts on that? What do you guys think? Okay. So you can see that's a nice opaque. That's really pretty. A very strong uh, color. I think I'm going to do... I'm obsessed with butterflies lately. We lost our dog the other day. Poor Dave had to, Emily went to, uh, I have to go put him down. It just, uh, 
that's another reason it's just I haven't really felt like I've just been sitting here painting my own stuff if you're interested in seeing it let me know I'm just practicing the uh, abstract I'm liking this paint so far I'm not hating it I really do And I'm adding, I have like a little drop of water here and I'm adding it to it just to kind of make it flow better. And it's, it's working really nice. It really does make it flow and not take the color away or change it. So, hmm. Okay. Let's try a very random color. And then that's, you guys know I'm obsessed with clouds after my last video. <laughs> I might do some clouds. I don't know. I don't know what I did with my little thing. Um, I really enjoyed the cloudage. What color have I not tried? I don't want to go too. Let's see. Scarlet red. Vermilion. Burnt sienna. Crimson red. Rose. I wonder what rose is like since we haven't. Oh, roses. She's a dark one. That's like a plum. That's not necessarily what I would think rose, but okay. It's kind of. Just to see. I mean, it's pretty. I mean, I guess it could be a rose, right? I thought it was going to be like red, but it's more like a plum. Plummy. Hmm. Interesting. You see how it's going over, and I'm going to put it on the. I'm going to do a dark and a light on the back, the blue, so you can kind of see and then kind of on her dress. You can really go crazy when you're doing this and I'm not going for anything. And you know, I, if you see a picture, like I said, this had arms and all kinds of stuff. I just kind of cut around it and took it and I thought, well, I'll just play. And I, I didn't glue it all the way down, but if I, if I hate this, which like I said, I'm just practicing with the colors. Um, I can just go cut her out again and then start over. So it's not, you know, that big a deal. I, th okay. This is kind of like this red. I just want to see it goes good on the gloss. This is a gloss paper and it's covering it. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go over this blue right here. Cause it's dark. And then I'm going to add some water and we'll make it transparent to see, but I mean, yeah, it's not completely covered. You might need a little, you know, another coat, but, and it might just be that I'm using a crap brush right now. It's a brush that I accidentally let dry with paint, but then I fell in love with it because, um, I'm going to mix this in some water here because it kind of has a nice point. So that's a, a tip for you. All right, so now it has the water. You can see it's flow. I'm so sorry, my dog. But it definitely makes it transparent. Can you see that? It's garbage day, so they're... Oh, yeah. Oh, I like it. I like it. I, I'm a fan of these so far. Just so you can see the color a little bit more. See the difference? And then you have this which I'm going to add a little bit more water to just a little bit. And you can see it flows. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And then you could go and you could take, maybe we'll take a little bit of this white. I don't exactly know what it is. And this is how I ruin all my paint because I don't use it properly. You can kind of go and do like a, I like it to be a little sideways because none of us are fully angels like that. Hmm. That just looks like she has something on her head, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, 
Okay, so that's a cloud. Look at that cloud. <laughs> Look at me go. I'm like into clouds lately. We're going to do another one. It's over above her head. Who cares? But look at it going over that blue. And this isn't my cloud maker either. I don't want to use my cloud maker because I'm using this paint. And you can see that it does react with, uh, re-react, re I guess, with the paint underneath. If you keep rubbing it, so. Some clouds you can see through. Let's see here. Yeah. Which this is pretty cool because, I mean, and you can do this with watercolors, obviously, as well. And you can do it with acrylic if it's not dry. But, like, to highlight or um, something, do you know what I mean? To kind of go back in and, all right, I'm not hating on that. But what I am hating on is this. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to wet it. And I'm erasing her this. We're going back to blue. One of my favorite things. Take my... And I took it right down to the gua uh, to the uh, gesso. Look at that. Now I'm going to put in a little bit of blue. Oh, I like that texture all around too. And then just kind of add that back a little bit. Maybe it's a little bluer over her because it's Beyonce, you know? <laughs> that is good. Okay. Well, I like these. I do, I do. And I'm, you know... It just gives me more paint to play with and more stuff. And honestly, for me, and let me tell you something, I have seen so many people do beautiful paintings with this, like, you know, artist kind of paintings. Like I said, I'm mixed media. So to me, I just like throwing it down and painting. I don't really go straight into paint often. Unless I'm doing a, you know what I mean? Like something like that I do for me, but. That's a lot of fun. I like it. I like it. Oh, I like it. Like it. Okay. So let's say I could probably spray my Mod Podge Ultra Gloss or matte on here. And for the most part, it would seal it. And then I could go over and paint. I'm not going to do that today because this is well over a half hour and I'm not going to bore anybody. But that might be something I try once it's all the way dry. Oh, she's rhyming. And then, yeah, because then I want to see what I can do over top. Okay. Well, these are a hit. These are the Arteza. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to put a link down below, but these are Arteza 24 gouache. And like I said, I love this cover, which I'm going to try at a different time, but um, I love it. And I'm really happy uh, with the way they work. I really am. I'm going to put a link down below. Come in now, baby. So you can... Um, if you're interested, go buy them. Because like I said, that's where I bought them off of was Amazon. And they came the next day. Like they came, I have Prime. I don't know if you have Prime or not. And let me tell you, I don't know if you know this, but for those of us who are disabled on disability, um, you can, I believe that Amazon now lets you get Prime for like $2 a month or something like that. Um, so you get a discount. So that's something, you know, if you are stuck at home or you can't get out or you like Amazon uh, and you want prime, that's something to think about. And like I said, if you're interested in these, the link is down below or go check out, you know, you can see what people do. It's very, very nice, but this is a hit for me. I'm really happy. I'm excited to get on to my uh, painting and, and, and play with these. So that is it. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Thanks for listening and sitting, sitting and listening to me go on and on and just talk and uh, babble. I appreciate it. 
And yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.